containers are collections of content which can be arranged in different layouts. Containers can be moved around freely and can be shared via folios. One can add existing applets to containers, such as this image. The images don't need to necessarily come from a media primitive. It is also possible to add files from the file system directly. Added content gets synchronized across devices. One can also listen to the clipboard. This allows people to collect and see material from different sources, such as web pages. Objects in containers can be dragged into existing applications. So for example, we can drag an image into our design in Illustrator. We can then take a screenshot using the snipping tool, and then put it in PowerPoint on a different device. Screenshots can also be freeform. Here, the user takes a screenshot using their pen to draw the selection. One can create different media primitives, such as images. Images can have different sources, such as the device camera, the clipboard, or the file system. One can also drag an image from a folder directly onto the image primitive. Let's now look at the applets in action. Suppose we are a travel company creating a newsletter featuring different deals. We now want to show deals to Europe, North America, and South America. We can drag and drop the images directly onto the document. However, images of South America are missing on this device. Let's get them from another device by creating a folio. A folio is a portal for sharing content and tools across devices. We give the folio a name and choose a design for it. Now we create an image primitive. This image is empty, and we're going to place it into the document to make it a placeholder. We now place the empty image into the folio, which wiggles to show us we can send content over. The content now shows on all of our shared devices. We can now retrieve it and drag and drop an image of South America, which we can then put back into the folio, and our document updates automatically.